Hi, my name is Pot, and I have an itchy nose. <laughs> Hi, my name is Pot, and today I'm going to be talking to you about working at summer camp as a videographer or photographer. I did four years at a camp in California, Mountain Camp Woodside, which was the most amazing experience I have ever had. Um, I was general counsel my first summer, so I taught a bit of photography and video. Um, and then my second summer, I went back as the camp photographer, videographer, um, and did their social media as well. It was an incredible experience. It changed what I ended up doing in life. Um, it got me my job now, which is incredible. Um, and it just gave me the experience and also just the confidence to push myself to go for that kind of job. If you're interested in doing media of some description, maybe you're doing media at uni or you're a photography student, or you just enjoy it and you want to give it a go um, and do photo, video, that kind of thing, there's two kind of ways to do it. So you could go as a general counsellor and teach the kids. Um, so you could teach them photo, you could teach them video. Or the second way to do it is to be the actual camp photographer or videographer. What that basically means is you're there to take photos, make videos. Um, some camps will have someone doing both. Some camps will have two separate people doing it. Um, and it's mainly for their own marketing, so their social media, for their website, that kind of thing. Um, they're promo videos, so you'll go around camp and get all that stuff for them that they can use. And they also, they usually do it like once a week, they'll do a big upload as well um, for the parents so they can kind of see their kids at camp and see how they're getting on. It is such a good way if you want to go into media of some description in the future, it's such a good way to get experience and build up your portfolio. Um, you get so much freedom you'll get so much content that you can then use later on, like once you've finished camp um, for your CV, for your portfolio. So like, it's great for employability and getting a job after camp. A typical day is similar to counselors, but slightly different in the sense that it's a bit less scheduled. So like I would wake up, have breakfast with everyone. And when everyone went off to their activities to teach them um, or for their group times, whatever, I would kind of spend the day going around the whole of camp um, talking to loads of different people, taking photos, making videos. Um, so it's a nice way to like see the whole of camp and get a real feel for everything. And it's great because you're interacting with all the counsellors, all the kids, so you get to know like everyone really quickly. And then you'll spend like the rest of the time editing and stuff. Um, which can get a little bit sad because you see everyone out kind of enjoying and playing um, and you're stuck inside editing. Um, but I loved it, it was such a good job. Um, it gave me so much experience, I had so much fun and you can kind of join in on certain things as well. So like if I'd go to archery, I'd go and film and take photos and then I'd shoot a few arrows and play with the kids for a little bit and then I'd go off to the next activity. So you don't, get, you don't like miss out on loads of stuff. Um, it's quite nice because you get to try everything and like see everything. So yeah, definitely if you are doing media of some, some kind, it's like the best summer internship type thing you could do for your CV. If you have any questions about it or just want to hear more about my experience at camp or being a photographer, videographer, um, feel free to message me. You can find me on Instagram at Last Fiasco Run Travel or you can find me on YouTube as well last fiasco run um, just drop me a message and i will be happy to answer any questions that you may have